I am Casey Price. I am the executive director of Frameline. I am Jonathan Wozeki. I am the writer director of a film called Gaby, and I also appear in the movie. And I'm Matt Wilkes, and I play Matt in the film Gaby. He is the lead actor of the film. I'm the lead. Yes, he is. One of the leads. So, uh, gentlemen, the first question I want to ask you is um, our theme for Frameline 36 is find your story. Uh, what story are you trying to highlight in your film Gaby, Jonathan? Uh, I think we're highlighting a story about friendship, about, uh, you know... Finding your family. Finding your family. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not often the people who you're born to be a family with, but the people you find throughout your life who you love. Um, about finding, you know, people to have special times with and about, uh, you know, pursuing your dreams. So do you, either of you feel a personal connection to any of the characters or the scenes in Gaby? And in what way do you relate to this story on a personal level? Well, you know, I, I, I wrote the story, so I think every character is mm -hmm. personal in some way. I mean, like, I, nothing is, like, ripped directly from my life or their life. But they're all, like, you know, they're all, like, you know, faint echoes of things that really happened. I mean, I certainly had a best friend in college who I had a pact with to have a baby together if we didn't have one by a certain time. But she wound up having one with someone else mm -hmm. right around that time. And um, I, I made the movie in a way as a you know, a Fantasia comedy version of what it might have been like, but also kind of a way to deal with the sadness of not having that option anymore, because, you know, it's not easy for gay men to have children together right, right. without a lot of money or in, right. a, in a state that doesn't allow adoption. It, it can be difficult. Yeah. I, I relate a lot with, you know, with my character, just in terms of his relationship with Jen, his best friend, um, because Jen is my best friend in life. You know, right, right. Like, you know, the beginning of how I relate with it. I don't relate, you know, I, I don't necessarily want to have a child with Jen, ever. <laughs> um, I don't know that I ever want to really have a child, um, uh, but, you know, who knows. Yeah. So. Did either of you ever work in um, one of those little boutique stores that doesn't sell anything? Uh, I've worked in a lot of kind of stores, but not quite really that. I mean, I worked in, like, <laughs> I worked in The Gap. I've worked in, um, but uh, more often, a lot of my customer fun stuff happened when I worked in a coffee shop. I worked in a coffee shop for a while, and it's a very great right. atmosphere to kind of, like, torture people in the morning yeah, <laughs> with yeah, your, yeah. like, you know, you've gotten there at 5 a.m., and you've had tons of coffee by the time the people stroll in for their morning coffee, and I, I had a lot of fun with people. But, <laughs> it's, it's but I do know the person who owns that exact store that That's we shot in, and that yeah. is a store that has incredible expensive things that they only have to sell like one a month to make the rent. <laughs> I like that store a lot. I've been to that store prior to right? filming it. I've been to the one in Brooklyn. So like it's kind of like the kind of store that I like to not that I can buy something from it, but I like to walk into it. <laughs> I like it's to be teasing. I think, but that store is so funny because I think it like represents so many people's shopping experiences. Yes. Yeah. Like what are they doing here? Yeah. Like what is the whole purpose of this? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, great. Alright, is there anything specific about the process or behind the scenes that you find particularly notable or memorable that you would like to share in the making of Gaby? It was really hot. It was <laughs> August mm -hmm. in New York City. We and often the air conditioner broke the day we arrived at a place. Yeah. Like at that said store, it was we really like, right. oh, the air conditioner broke today. Yeah. Or like, oh, how convenient. Right. <laughs> there was a lot of shininess that had to be shiny, powdered, powdered away. away. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sweaty oh. lip in the movie, but that's okay. But we, <laughs> it was cool because we, it was a group of people that I think essentially got along pretty well. Yeah, um, we had a good time. And There's a lot of people we know from doing yeah. plays together in New York. Oh, good. Um, awesome, yeah. The main four people in the movie, we all met doing a play together yeah. maybe in 2004. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, and, we, and we had such a great time on stage. Like, I can't actually remember other times on stage that were as fun as that, I'm, that play that I knew that when I wanted to make a first feature, it would have to have as many of those kind of people in it that I just love to be, you know, playing around acting with. You know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, let's see. What do you hope audiences will take away from Gaby? You know, I hope they take away whatever they want to take away. I mean, I, I don't, I, you can't like prejudge people's expectations, but uh, uh, what people do that I know of so far is that they really enjoy that it's not, you know, what maybe they might think it's going to be going in. It's certainly mm -hmm. not a movie about a, a gay guy and a straight girl falling in love. It's right, a movie right, about right. a gay guy and a straight girl finding themselves in with the, their appropriate partners right. <laughs> that they find elsewhere. <laughs> and um, and it's a it's a 
You know, it is a movie about, you know, finding the you know, the family that you'll be the most happy with, I think, and that's kind of sweet, and it resonates in this day and age. Right, right. I also hope that they are ent- entertained. I, I don't, I mean, like, I know that that's, like, a given, but I, I just hope that they don't take it too ser- seriously. I think right, that right. there's, like, some serious points maybe to be made through it, but... I, I think it's just really funny. It's a comedy, right? And yeah. Really fun, and it, you should have fun watching it. Right. That's I definitely and like there's I, no shame in bringing a little joy into people's yeah. lives. I never, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's okay to have a funny movie and, and make people laugh. <laughs> I really have fun watching you know a movie that man, and I actually this is one of the first things I've ever like been like oh I, this, I, this is fun to watch. Right, right. Yeah. This isn't awkward. Or, <laughs> and, and, and I have to say I, I mean because I think it was in the short um, as well as in the as in the full um, the feature length film. I I think that that one line, um, when your character says, it would be better if you don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> the funniest thing that I've ever heard in film, and I just want to thank you guys for that. Yeah, <laughs> I do so love that moment. Be, I love that like moment. That it's just so brilliant. It's just so brilliant. I think it would be better if you don't talk. I feel like that lots of people will quote little mo- little lines here and there. Yeah, <laughs> which is <laughs> it's really it's nice cool. because I always do that for movies I love and right. to think that people really like love the movie enough to have a favorite line is exactly. kind of amazing. Exactly. <laughs> okay, one last question. Yes. Um, what do you enjoy about screening a frame line? Uh, well, this is the best audience you'll ever have and then in a way every other experience does not compare really. I mean, you, every short my true shorts and now my feature will play at the Castro in front of a mm-hmm. packed house which you just can't replicate. I mean, this is you know, a historic and historic. <laughs> what we say, we say and historic, and historic theater. Yes. I mean, it's just it's like the theater yeah. to play in the country, really, for me. I've and never never been to this festival, so I'll just okay. say that I I'm excited to see what it's going to be like. Excellent. This theater so far is unbelievable, and I love San Francisco, so I'm so excited just to be here in this city and to see this film in this city. Excellent. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, no problem.